All right, welcome back. Happy Tuesday morning. Let's bring in our friend Mike Eppel, hanging out at his um, holiday pad. Good morning. <laughs> How are you doing this morning, Melanie? It, it good looks to see you. good. What is that gingerbread man saying? What's his little sign? I I've always wondered. No, I, 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 there are no batteries in it because I remember it being really annoying. But he's holding a little sign. Oh. What does that say? Eat more candy canes. Oh, that's adorable. That's adorable, Mike. It's a good message <laughs> think, for all of us. I think, I, think, I think it's down here because nobody upstairs. Is, uh, you know, and his little face. Oh, he's cute. Okay. That's right. I get very distracted. Scattered around the house. Yes. yes. <laughs> Easily distracted. Let's get back down to business, shall we? You know what? Yep. All eyes will be on this fiscal update and exactly mm -hmm. what is announced from the Trudeau government. So we're anticipating certain things that we already know are going to happen, right? But look, this is this is a, a snapshot of uh, the federal finances. This is not a full budget. All of the big spending initiatives that uh, were promised in the election campaign will likely be coming in the spring budget. They got to wait, don't they? They have to hold something back for the budget. So today it's more of a an overview of the government's bank account. How much money has gone out? How much is coming in? And theoretically, the numbers should look a little bit better, uh, again, comparatively speaking. I mean, the, the deficit last year was something like $350 billion, and this year it's around $155 billion. Those were the initial forecasts for the, uh, the deficit. But we've seen a lot more revenue coming in because of the revitalization of the energy sector, the economy. Uh, you know, th that is going to not exactly balance the books in any way, shape, or form, but improve the, uh, the fiscal picture. The flip side, though, and the critics contend, is that all of the government spending is part and parcel of the inflation scenario that we're dealing with right now. You can make the argument uh, both ways, but uh, you know it, they they laid out a whole bunch of programs in the in the uh, election campaign. We'll see more about that likely into these numbers today, whether it's childcare or that sort of you know those things. And um, it'll be interesting to see exactly where we are from a. Uh, a fiscal update because it, look, it, it matters to the co the country's credit rating, what the bond mm -hmm. market does, and the currency as well. That'll happen after four o'clock this afternoon. Okay, and as we talk the dollars, um, what yeah. is the market value of Apple right now? Uh, right now, it is two point eight eight trillion dollars. <laughs> Came very close to three trillion yesterday, and I, I saw that and I went, "Apple's almost three trillion dollars." That happened very quickly. Sure did. <laughs> it, you know, it was just a few years back where it was a $1 trillion company. But what's happened since the March low 2020 of the pandemic, Apple has gone up by 200%. Think about that, how this company has grown that much from both uh, a market standpoint and the influence it has just, you know, <laughs> let's face it, anything related to tech, whether it's Apple or Microsoft or Google or the, the big uh, companies, these have been the stars of the show, and uh, Apple's market cap today could hit another historic milestone. It has to hit $182 and change, I think, is the level, and it's 176 right now. And you know, we've we've talked about what uh, moves the markets, Melanie. There's, uh, you know, Apple is certainly a huge uh, performer. Uh, Microsoft, I mentioned, uh, Tesla has been a, a standout performer as well, and we're seeing these tech heavyweights just get ever more uh, valuable on a almost daily basis. Um, what was I going to ask you? <laughs> if you could see the think bubble in my head, it went do 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 do. Well, sorry. I, 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 uh, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you about Elon Musk, Time Magazine yes. naming him Person of the Year. Sorry, I just I, I went off on a but, trip. What, yeah, it was what, fun. Shot. What? He hasn't done anything this year. <laughs> no, Every not day at all. He tweets about something. Uh, yeah. No. Look. Let's face it. Uh, say what you will about uh, Elon Musk, and uh, he does have his detractors, but at the same time. Uh, there is Tesla. There is SpaceX. There, you know, the the neural link project he's working on to have uh, <laughs> the uh, there's, the, like there's the, the dancing. dancing. There's the dancing. If there's one thing. Why do we show we can, this every time? This, 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 this it, yeah. <laughs> 2022. Let's just not see the dancing anymore. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, there we go. <laughs> look, look. You know, wants to put people back on uh, on the moon and then on to Mars and. Talking now about, you know, uh, carbon capture as a possible rocket fuel. So that might be, uh, you know, a, a help for climate change issues. And then, you know, he tweeted last night about Dogecoin again and the cryptocurrencies. And that's up 18% because he sent out a tweet. So that's the power he has, Mike. Yes. 
Influential, yes. Annoying dancing, absolutely. <laughs> I can't stop watching it. Uh, we got Why about, can't? You're showing I it. I don't know. 30 seconds left to go, Mike. Uh, let's go. GameStop <laughs> and AMC. What yep. do you have? Stonks. Are they wrecked? R-E-K-T. Oh, I see what you did. Okay. Or or hold. And, of course, you spelled that wrong. H-O-D-L. Because that's what you do if you're on Reddit. Apparently. It's cool, and Mike. You write in all, and you write in small caps. That's what you do. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> they're down. They're down. Both down to a seven-month low this morning, Melanie. As it looks like uh, there's more selling pressure to come here, and of course the uh, the true believers say no. It's about the short positions and the arbitrage, and nothing to do with the earnings that neither of these companies have. But uh, look, Amos, AMC is still up 900% since the start of the year. Think about that. And yet now it's down this morning, and uh, GameStop is up 600%. So if you got in early, you're a big time money maker. If you got in around uh, 400 and change for GameStop, well, this morning, it's down to 136. There you have it. Okay. Mike, as always, dance your way out of this Tuesday, <laughs> just like Elon Musk. He won't do it. No, See you tomorrow. No, bye. bye, -bye.